Ellis is one of the biggest rising singer and songwriters in country music, getting ready to release her first full-length album, That Girl. It, the time is almost here. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's finally arrived. <laughs> I mean, talk a little bit, because we chatted last year when Someone Else's Heartbreak came out, and it feels like all these songs you created, like 2023, I mean, kind of leading up yeah. to 2024 being your year. That's right. It really does feel like it's going to be my year, too. Getting to start the year by releasing this project that we've just put so much time and love and energy into is honestly just the perfect way to kick this year off. Let's talk about a couple of the uh, the singles here. Wine Country. Let's talk a little oh. bit about that one. Because I feel like even if you're not a country music fan, like that song is going to get stuck in your head. That's right. I really <laughs> do think it's so hooky. And that song I, is so special to me because I feel like it really helped me to kind of finally solidify my role in this country music family. You know, I'm the bougie country girl. That's my thing. I'm going to go to your steak dinners, but I'm also going to go out to the farm and drink my wine out of a solo cup. I am both things. And I think that so many people actually live like that. Oh, exactly. Let's talk a little bit about filming that video for, for wine country. Cause it's a lot of fun and it made me want to like book a trip. Right. I know. Honestly, the video looks fake. I said that when we saw it. I was like, it looks like a green screen. It was actually that gorgeous out there. Um, I'd say the hardest part of the video was not drinking the wine in our hand all day. You know, 12 hours. They were like, we can't have you drunk by the end of this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. The title, That Girl. Tell me a little bit. How, you know, This is your first full-length album. How did you come up with the title? And this is, you know, the title for that very first album. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's based on one of the songs on the record called That Girl. And that song is really just capturing the idea that Hannah Ellis, as a person, is hard on her sleeve. I cannot help it. I am, if I feel it, you are going to know it. My husband laughs about all of my very obvious tells when I'm happy, sad, mad. And I think that younger me wanted to kind of get rid of that. I wanted to be able to just present this perfect, very ideal version of myself. And then finally, as I was getting older and growing, I, I realized that it's time to embrace exactly who I am, good, bad, and otherwise. And I think that that song really captures the essence of this whole project, which is embracing who you are and just being okay with that. You just mentioned your, your younger self, and you recently posted a video on Instagram showing you as a little kid and your dad yeah. telling you, you know, you're a great singer. What was it like going back to see that clip and then sharing that with your fans? You want to know something so funny is um, when I found that clip a couple of years ago, I like held on to it. It of course made me cry when I saw it, but my dad has believed in me since before he knew that he believed in me, if that makes sense. Like yeah. he's been telling me those things since I was little and so has my mom, but like just saying, you're going to be a star. I don't know. I just, you're going to be a star. And you know, when, when people tell you that you're special enough, you believe it. Oh, exactly. And you know, no matter what your age, you know, sometimes people might see certain success at, at certain, you know, times in your life, but not realizing yeah. I've been doing this since I was a little kid. Like, it's not like, you yeah. know, lucky moment that happened. Like, I've been working really hard to get to this moment. That's right. That's right. And I think that's something that it's is so important to me is like, I think there's <clears throat> a, a thing in our culture where we like to imagine things are an overnight success. They just stumbled into something. But then there's a such thing as working hard. Oh, 100%. Uh, are you going to be touring the uh, the new album? Um, yes, we are currently working on something we're excited to announce soon. Awesome. Yeah, because you were in the Midwest, you were in Michigan and Wisconsin last year. You got to go to London last year. So, you know, hopefully, you know, there'll be a Chicago or <laughs> Illinois stop, at, you know, at, at some point uh, in 2024. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Sorry, go ahead. Was that a Stanley Cup? Of course. It, is she basic or is she basic? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been collecting all, all the different the different colors? No, this is my first one. That that's your first one. All right, it's so hopefully your very first one. I this been people have been going crazy over the pink and the red ones. Uh, so hopefully oh you have gosh, I, so, those. <laughs> I know. If someone wants to get me a gift, pink Stanley Cup. Thank you. Yeah, you get an autographed album. How about that? That's right. Hey, hey. Uh, Come on the Rocks, another one of the, those songs that became a, an instant earworm for me. And once I finished hearing it, I wanted to hear it again. Tell me a little bit about creating that song. Oh, absolutely. That song was so much fun to write because, you know, I've been in love for a really long time. And so 
I don't dip into those bad relationships because who wants to think about those? But every once in a while, you have to uh, reminisce on the guys that they thought they were the catch when really it was you. And then maybe, maybe karma played out and you got to witness it. And so it was just so fun to relive those moments with my friends that I wrote the song with and just to write a banger. And it definitely is a banger. Hannah, thank you so much for your time today. That Girl comes out on January 12th. Stay tuned to her social media as far as tour dates that are coming up in uh, in 2024. And uh, best of luck to you in uh, this new year. And definitely go check out this album. Thank you.